Um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, how to plot complex numbers. And uh, this is going to introduce us to uh, the so-called Arcand diagram. Something else that we are also going to talk about is uh, what is called the complex conjugate. Okay, so uh, in our part one video, we already introduced the uh, concept of a complex number given by x plus i y where both x and y are real numbers and i is the square root of minus one is the unit imaginary number we said uh, that uh, x is the real part of z just uh, this uh, number here y is the imaginary part now this complex number can be plotted in your um, regular xy plane because this x and this y um, are exactly the same as the xy uh, that we have in the um, xy coordinate um, plane or your cartesian plane so um, we plot as follows so um, the, the complex number Z can be uh, plotted. So let's just say the number Z can be plotted. And then uh, if we plot it, it's going to be represented by the point XY in the XY um plane or axis um, by the point x y okay what are we saying we're saying uh, z equals to x plus i y is actually the same as just the point with coordinates x y so this is how this is going to work out so this is our xy um, plane this is the x-axis this side this is the y-axis this side so the number z is going to be uh, it's going to correspond to that point there so if this point has got the horizontal distance x vertical distance y okay so uh, that is x y there so this is the same as x plus i y okay so x plus i y is just the point x y now because remember we said x is the real part of z so the x axis we can call the real axis the y axis we can call the imaginary axis so what we started with as the x y plane okay uh, now becomes uh, uh referred to as the complex plane because we are now having um this complex number plotted there but it is also called the argand diagram because uh, it was invented by the gentleman with the surname argand Okay, so that is uh, plotting complex numbers on the xy plane. So all you need to do is to find x and y and then find the point with coordinates x, y. So let's um, have a look at uh, some examples of how to plot complex numbers. All right, uh, so suppose we have got these complex numbers here. We want to plot them. Um, instead of calling all of them Z, I have given them the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Um, so let's see how 
these are going to um, plot on the Arcand diagram. So remember, this is our x-axis, also called the real axis. So y-axis, also called the imaginary axis. Our first number is A, which is 1, 2. So this number um, has got x is 1 um, and uh, y is 2. So it's basically a point 1, 2. So we're going to go on the x-axis and look for 1 and then count two steps up here. So that's going to be our A. A is, you can either write 1, 2, or we write 1 plus 2i. Okay, so this is the number A. Then B got minus 2 plus i. So this time we're going to count minus 2 this way, and then 1 up. So that's going to be minus 2, 1, or we can write this as minus 2 plus i. That is uh, our b. Okay, then for c we have got just i. So this is minus 2, 1. So if we just got i, it means the real part is zero, the imaginary part is one. So it's going to be this number here. Uh, I'm just going to, let me plot those ones in uh, pink. So this is going to be I here. So I corresponds to the point zero, one. And uh, it's our C. D is three I. So that's going to be zero three this time. Okay, zero three. So again on the vertical axis one, two, and three, there is zero three, and this is the same as three i. What this is suggesting, I'm sure as you can see, is that on the vertical axis we have got i here we've got two i here three i here four i here so here we're going to have minus i minus two i minus three i and so on now if you remember i is the imaginary number so the numbers that have got zero real component are called purely imaginary numbers and on the arcant diagram they are all going to be along this vertical axis so this is the other reason why that vertical axis is called the imaginary axis because all the purely imaginary numbers lie along that vertical axis all right then next for e uh, so for E, uh, we're going to plot these ones in uh, this color. We've got three. So the real part here is three. The imaginary part is zero. So that means we have got one, two, and that's going to be our, our number. Uh, so that's just three. So we can either write here three, zero, if we write it in coordinate form. Or if we write it in terms of complex numbers, it's just three. Okay, so and then uh, you're gonna have four here, five. This one is negative one, negative two, negative three. So what's happening this time? All the purely real numbers are along the horizontal axis, and so that is the other reason why uh, this axis is called the real axis. Okay, so that's our plotting numbers on the complex plane or the arcand diagram. Next, we're going to introduce uh, what is called the complex conjugate. So the complex uh, conjugate 
um, of the complex number z so if we have got z equals x plus i y so complex number of z equals to x plus i y uh, is denoted like this z bar mm, although sometime it's denoted like that as well but we're going to use this notation it's obtained by simply negating the imaginary part so that is going to be a complex conjugate now on the Akand diagram the complex conjugate simply going to be the mirror reflection of z in the horizontal axis so if uh, this is our z here uh, x y o x plus i y then z bar so this is uh, z then z bar is going to be have coordinates x negative y simply negate the um the imaginary component or the y coordinate so it's just going to be the complex um the mirror reflection uh in the horizontal axis now let's uh, look at uh, some examples um involving the complex conjugate before we do so thank you uh for visiting our channel and thank you for watching uh, this video we hope our videos are helpful to you please do uh, of course subscribe to our channel if you've got any questions uh please feel free to post them in the comment section and uh, like the video and share accordingly all right uh, so in these examples we are looking to find the complex conjugate z bar of each complex number so we've just seen that to find the complex conjugate we simply negate the imaginary part so for a the complex conjugate is simply going to be 2 minus 3i so we change that plus 3i to negative for b there is the imaginary part so this will leave as it is that becomes negative for c the real part is zero remember we change the so it's not going to be zero plus five i this one is like this if we change the sign of this we're still going to have seven so because that number is uh, on the horizontal axis so if you do a mirror reflection it's still going to give you the same thing okay uh, we're not going to uh suggest that uh, you take a few minutes and have a go at the last four just pause the video and then you can compare with our solutions when you continue all right so for e the complex conjugate is going to be minus 3i minus 2 so this one remains because the real part and this one is going to be 2 plus 3i let's change the sign this is a purely imaginary number so it changes sign it's a real number so it remains exactly the same all right so that's the complex conjugate we're going to look at uh, some properties of the complex conjugate later but uh, brings us to the end of this video